Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to my huge channel, everybody. As you might have recognized, I'm not sitting in my living room as per usual, but instead, I'm lucky enough to be in the Dover Street Market showroom in Paris where I'm being shown around and introduced to some very interesting brands you might have heard of or not yet. And some designers are even there, so I had the chance to talk to them personally. I'm gonna ask them some questions and they had some really interesting answers. It's, it's pretty cool. I, I think you will have a good time watching me with my bad posture. And Chloe is the cutest person ever showing me around and let's start. Starting immediately with the first designer, Fileo Landowski, the founder of the namesake label Fileo, also famous due to his intricate design collaborations with the sportswear brand you might have heard of, Salomon. Uh, he quit school with the sweet age of 16 to pursue his realistic dreams of creating his own label, while also having had created that very first label with the age of 13. And with about 18, he managed to work as the artistic consultant for Salomon Sportswear in 2020. You might remember shortly before the brand completely blew up. Uh, his brand Filio is now stocked in around 40 stores around Asia and Europe and keeps exciting with architectural perspective shifting and hybrid designs that give comfort without giving up on classic design elements that were reinterpreted by him. Coming to the next menswear brand that is London based this time, we are speaking Oli Shinda. The Central St. Martin's graduates collections are often inspired by a mix of modern sportswear and features of extreme utility functions. He likes to use fabrics in surprising contexts. The protective shirt from the one side can turn easily into a flamboyant yet still sportive shirt from the other. He uses classical pragmatic contacts and plucks his pieces as avatars inside of them, without anyone recognizing what this is all about. Yeah. Casual wear, I think it's something we need at the end no, of the day, definitely. and and it's it's nice that it's like even if it's like considered a bit merch, it's that it's um, like art yeah. reflected in, in in the pieces, and it's made in LA. Yeah, that's great. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hello. Good, and you? Can I just ask you like one thing, maybe? Sure. So you actually have an arts background, yeah. And how do you see your clothing when it's like very literal? You know, when clothing at the end is like a a piece of purpose that has a function and your art is of course like on a meta level. I don't know exactly what your artistic approach is, but it's definitely something very deep, I guess. How do you try to reflect that in clothing? Well, I guess, I mean, the approach, you're right, is the same approach as I would do a painting or a sculpture, by, especially with the hand um, aspect. But the other aspect is also like literal. Like you say, like there's messages in this collection about like inner light and staying true to yourself. And um, I also have some artwork that I do with my daughter collaborating. Yeah, I saw it's amazing. It looks really good. Thank she you. also has some ideas when you when you paint something together. Yeah. So yeah, so for the collection, I'll give her kind of an idea of what I like. And then she'll make a bunch of drawings and mm -hmm. I'll pick and choose from there. Wow. Like for instance, th this one right here. Mm -hmm. This, we call it snoppy. Snoppy, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so she did that and then I added this and this right here. Okay. And the little dots. So it's like a true collaboration. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, yeah, no, that's super cool. And what's the idea of Snoppy? That it, it's like three different moods? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, three different moods. She says that this is kind of, Snoppy kind of represents her. Um, ah. Because she grew okay. up with Snoopy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Know, so, I mean, it yeah. sounds like a, a so, joke, uh, like a, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, so now it's kind of like a self portrait. Mm -hmm so to speak. That's very reflective of her with 14 years. Yeah, so we've back. been exhibiting our work together since she was 10. So now it's she's so cool. 14. I mean, it's amazing that you include her and that you all, I mean, it's a very wide mindset to be artistic as a 14 year old when you literally read yeah. fantasy books, maybe. But and I mean, it's it's amazing that you push that talent also. in her. Thank you. Yeah. That's and cool. when she was born, I wanted to make even if she didn't want to make art, I wanted to make sure that she was able to be creative in whatever. Or challenge did. it a bit, exactly. that it gets out. So as soon yeah. as she could hold a pencil, then I would give her a pencil and paper and like kind of show her like how to scribble. Wow. And that. So and then she, as she grown up, she wants to do the same thing. So and it evolved within the years exactly. because she got used to it. So, yeah, yeah. So she does sculpture and painting and installations with me. So 
We will hear about her then. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. And you produce everything in LA? Everything is in Los Angeles. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. And all of the colors I'm dyeing by hand with mm -hmm. a recipe I've had for like 20 years. So wow. it's just myself and I do it in a bucket for production. No, that's very interesting because a lot of like also niche brands that I talk, like smaller brands that I talk with that have a more artistic approach, everybody's trying to go back to like natural dye or like hand dye and the big brands that are like pushing the, I don't know, the tie dye trend or whatever, it's kind of fading, literally fading and it's going more into intention and like you said, for example, the dye is like 20 years old and that's something important also for customers now because right. the value and intention is so important because everything is so lost yeah. and so superficial and commercial that this really makes a difference. That's very cool. Yeah, whatever I can do myself, I would like to do. Mm -hmm. Because I started the brand as an extension and an, another medium of, of my other work. Mm -hmm. So it's important to me to keep that aspect, whether it's in a t-shirt yeah. or a cut and sew, you know. No, that's really nice. And it's like the approachable form of your art at the end for, for a wider audience at the end. That's yeah. cool. So now we are moving and continuing with the growing contemporary skater brand Rasvet, inspired by the Russian underground skating scene and post-Soviet futurism, Morphing with the 80s retro vibes, with the main purpose still being durability and utility, founded by Gosha Rubczynski and Toldi Atitaev. Now that he said Gosha, yeah, I also see a bit this. Yeah. Like, also this, I don't know why, but it reminds you of communism. Maybe because yeah. of the North Korean yeah. flag. I mean, maybe. Sure. I'm sure it's a bit politically low, or yeah. like rage against uh, yeah, the... Yeah, the is really like kind of punk. And yeah, yeah, exactly. Because we're like, we're always telling a story. And the background on this, so mm -hmm. and basically Tolia had some issue with visa and stuff. And ah. so he was supposed to go to Mexico. And so the whole crew joined in Mexico. Oh my And they were God. like, okay, it's <laughs> home now. But they were not feeling at home. So it was yeah. a bit rebellious, kind of. I mean, yes. Yeah, yeah, there are a lot of symbols that are definitely yeah. like... And since they are doing all the graphics themselves, oh, yeah. it's really the best story of like mm -hmm. where you belong. But it, yeah, but they just do menswear? Um, it's gonna be a mistake because there's also a girl in the team, Alex, mm -hmm. and so she's always like okay. mm -hmm. and stuff, so it's, she's always gonna wear like nice pants or like super baggy. No way, I like it. Um. We're entering the second room now where we will find the more tailor wear inspired brands, uh, starting with iRai, founded by the LA based designer Drew Curry. He is using deconstruction and reconstruction techniques to call attention to the fragility and protection at the same time, uh, which looks very, very cool. His signature looks as single threads hanging on the pieces or multiple fabric pieces visibly attached to each other. He also studied the technical history of cotton, which we can definitely see in his designs. Um, because we have a lot of pieces that show fabric manipulation, for example. Uh, it's actually an artisanal brand made to be worn by us people that care about handcraft and production. Mm -hmm. It was really about time and stuff, and he was like really focused. Wow, which is insane. To it me. reminds me a bit of this. Um, Abraham, um, yeah, no, a bit of that. I mean, yeah, when I definitely. hear somebody sat somewhere six hours, it just yeah, reminds no, me of definitely. that. Like I was talking also with a friend and he was like, she was yeah, like, yeah. I love it, you know, yeah, yeah. like Marina. So yeah, yeah. Like, um, event and more yeah. than a runway, actually, if you if you have deeper thoughts than yeah. just letting your girl models Definitely. walk down the runway. Even the runway we had were well, not really like typical runways. <gasps> During the presentation, we had all the clothes and so people could try them on oh, this and is be part of the presentation. This I love. Oh. Yeah. Smart. <laughs> and this, and one, it's, this is a bit his um, yeah, logo. Signature. He plays a lot with like threads and like mm -hmm. fragility or something. Mm -hmm. It's really about sensation and emotional feeling. And I think it's like, yeah, he has a lot of like open stitches and threads. Yeah. Ah, here it's, for example, also fully open. Yeah. Which exactly. is interesting because this is where your heart is. Yeah. He has so many ribbons like that. Whoa, I would absolutely wear this. Yeah. And I like that it's like open here yeah. in the back and for notes. And I love this over, over long arms. No, the fit is really great also. Cool. And this is something you have now. What is the future of Dover Street Market Paris, by the way? It's really like a lot. So we yeah. can stay here and do the same thing mm -hmm. as we do. Maybe creators are gonna move because it's always mm -hmm. like this. But basically, the building is gonna mm -hmm. be also a shop. Yeah, so I have really yeah, a huge one, right? Yeah, like, yeah. we're gonna have like two, four. Whoa. 
Yeah. It's gonna, and when is it opening? Spring. That would be Which spring? Yeah. <laughs> this one? When, yeah. You can like mm. taste it also. This girl is definitely a bag for men, so yeah. I would say. I like it because it does not almost look like a skirt, more like really a piece of fabric. Because it has like no like lining. Set it however you want, I guess. So yeah, yeah, set. You can also play with it. It's not like yeah, really a skirt. Because mm -hmm. it also has like no stitches around. Yeah. Beautiful shape. And this skirt is amazing. Yeah. The gray one. The he gray one. Oh. Yeah. It's actually like Whoa. Pink, but it is <gasps> even also. This is so crazy. Yeah. I love the shape. I mean, I like that it's like slightly egg shape, and then. You know, With this is going like this, and this is going like this. Yeah. It's a bit like a contrast, and no, it's so good because I had so many people trying it at mm -hmm. the presentation, and some people from different shades, mm -hmm. like it looks good on everybody. Skinny, some super tall, some super small, and it was amazing. No, it's I feel like the fitting is really creating this special. Space. Yeah, and actually, like the way it is woven yeah. creates a pattern also, which yeah. is interesting. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it looks like very, of course, artisanal in comparison yeah. to the other brands, but it's still like very wearable. Yeah, this definitely. is what I love um, because sometimes it's it's also very artistic, which is beautiful, but you yeah. cannot really wear it like, Even it, like this. It's like yeah. cotton, which is like unusual. Wow. But at the same time, it's like a basic in your wardrobe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a good approach to the jean jacket, actually. Yeah. The more beautiful version. And even for this one, it's like denim, but with all the middle ah, form she made. It's denim. Yeah. And actually the middle coming under and just going to pull out all the white parts. Ah, okay. Well, yeah. that's beautiful. <laughs> and it's a lot of work, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's really nice. No, it's, um, I like it a lot. Whoa, this is cool. This I would yeah. wear. <laughs> no, this is really nice. Yes. Very cool. So we are moving on to the next brand and it's Random Identities. We're speaking of the label founded by no one lesser than Mr. Stefano Pilati himself. You might know him. He's well known for his works at Armani, Prada, critically acclaimed era at YSL and lastly Xenia. Uh, the brand's name Random Identities stands exactly for what it means actually. Clothes that are made for anyone's identity the individual styling to reflect one's own very own personality and with his expertise in design and tailoring he aims to build a contemporary wardrobe that seems monochromatic at first view but shows its real beauty when looking out for the quality and detailed design elements that expose pilates perception of real wearable tailor wear that he loves very much and that we see very often in his own looks. I think it's good to bring back heels for men's also. It just no, looks definitely. It looks so elevated. When I look at my dad's pics from the 70s, he was always wearing heels. True. And it looked so cool and elevated everything. But I feel like some people are doing it now. Like they're I doing, yeah. Let be our first step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, these are also cool. No, no, this one you don't you don't find this for men's yet. Yeah. And this is also like the shape. It's great this like silhouette where it's like this. It's um, amazing. That's very nice. You know, I love about him and that it looks so classy always, but there's always yeah. there is something modern about it, like yeah, the silhouettes of the blazers and the pants. Like even this, like it's a simple like through neck. Yeah, and, and then you're gonna it have the details up there. Exactly, which is super feminine, but yeah. like you can dare it. Like this. Yeah, this one is really nice. Yeah, it's super cute. No, it's a beautiful playfulness that we're kind of missing. Yeah. Without being too Harry Styles. Yeah, definitely. Like too, it's not like a on top. Or yeah. These, performance kind of. These are amazing. This I love. <gasps> I need it to be honest. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> these I need these boots too. Yeah. Whoa, it's cut. It's not even stitched. I don't know. I think it's yeah. Think no, it's, it's very yeah. It's cut, and I think it's. This is very yeah. This suit I can take. Yeah. No, it's, it's really nice. <laughs> And there's also the details. Yeah, like here in the back. Sleeves also that are gonna be slightly open. So if you have like jewelry, you can yeah, and I, it, I love not it. Too much. And I, I mean, this is amazing. And yeah. what I love is like the tiny buttons, you yeah. know, because I, I hate big buttons to be okay. honest. And I love, I love it when a huge jacket has a tiny. It looks ridiculous, you know. Yeah. It's like, what is the puppet thing? Like boxy kind of shape. Exactly, but it's like so small. It's like your blouse. Yeah. 
It's amazing. Well, and he has a and yeah, I think random. It's an amazing price point and um, yeah for design what you get. Since we're doing the production now, we're trying to also ah, get okay. it lower. There's details that are like yeah, and, and I think yeah, it's like a funny gimmicky bag yeah. for a man. Uh, but this is more like if you want to it's have about a cool. It's also beautiful the silhouette. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like yeah. a feminine petticoat. Yeah. Uh, but for men. At the same time, it looks so elegant. Yeah, super elegant. Nice very good. It's really really nice. Yeah, it looks great. <laughs> Amazing, cool. I'm in love with random identities again because you never you really watch it, see it in stores, you know. Everything is open and it's it looks like a styling style lookbook yeah. always when he's doing something. Cool. So yeah, it's very different than last yeah. time. Yeah, I feel like men is more. Choose. <laughs> Coming to the next brand, which is ERL. ERL is a brand where comfort and nostalgic Americana aesthetic come together and redefine the current definition of what this modern art approach of U.S. culture actually means. Founded by the talented multidisciplinary artist and designer Eli Russell Linnets, ERL has become the melting pot of romantic nostalgia and zeitgeist appropriate streetwear. It always looks like one knows the pieces from somewhere from a long time ago. That's the unconventional and unique technique of Eli, making us believe we are living in an old photograph of better days. Watching ourselves have fun and be wild. The dye wool sweaters that yeah. I love so much. Oh, but we have it here. Yeah, what is it? What awesome is the blue version this time? Uh, I see the scarf. Yeah, but it's like the same one. Yeah, I love it. In the same blue. Are you also doing the production here? No. We're doing. Oh, yeah. you're turning, uh, yeah, getting the big. The Batman has so many work for men. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I, I, I like it, it's playful. Yeah, but even and this type of OG... It's like printed. Like, yeah. Printed on... Yeah, exactly. Wool. And it's super comfy. Like for winter, it's like... It's yeah, and it also looks interesting. I think yeah. that's like... Wow, well, sorry, I... No, it's fine. But I will manage. It's good. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. But in this wool, is, which is really great, yeah. This is cool. Yeah. And this you like would it. wear, this is very yeah. Alex. <laughs> I know, yeah. No? Yeah, this is like sleeping in, so in your shake. so yeah. Oh yeah, and I think it's getting a bit more toning down. It's getting a bit more wearable, yeah. no? Because I mean, I think like every young young brown he was like starting with like more like colorful. Uh, I loved his lookbooks always. <gasps> yeah, because he's really. You know the one with the kids. With yeah. the kid. Oh my god, that was so beautiful. That's really his background in like um, filmmaking. He's and he's super also. young, right? Like he's. Yeah. I don't know his age, but it feels like... I know he started like when I, I think it was like 24 when he yeah, started. Yeah. yeah. And he was already like in music and I don't know, I don't yeah. know, I, I once read about he it. He also worked with Lady Gaga, Kanye mm. West, but always on the um, creative side. Yeah. And so he has really his design of like, mm. I want to do like character, but when he's more like a character. Yeah. And so it's still like always the coziness and it's like... Very and it's cool. super warm also. Yeah, it's like super... This is cute. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. And and the and there are so many colors. The color is also nice. Yeah, and it's nice to change every season. Yeah, even it's for this one. Like yeah, exactly. Like this year, I know the green was in yeah. summer, and I think we pink. pink we yeah, I and I like white, that it's like washed. Black, so pink. I think the coziness. This is a whoa. Yeah, this I love. Yeah, it's vintage so tees are of course back since ever. And this I love. Fantastic. Yeah, this one is really nice. This is cool. This I would... Okay. But this is killing me. Whoa. That's crazy. Especially since our apartment is always so cold. Yeah. The thing about Double Street overall is like, how can you have... I feel like it's family. Oh, it's yeah. Really, it, it's, not, it's not pretentious and it's so... And every time I'm like, it must be a part of the business model. But no, yeah. I think it's just so genuinely... Yeah. Family and and caring. It's really yeah. caring. It's really like I don't know. I mean, since when does production like, like the brand? You know, production yeah. always hates the brands because they're being abused and um, yeah. And here's how you get like little tiny gifts from the no, mommies. It's so nice. And even the whole thing is like this. I think it's because also the building and the Jewish market Paris yeah. company is so young. 
hey guys that's about it i hope you liked the video don't forget to subscribe if you like this content here i hope it was okay to not see me for once right in front of the camera maybe it was also a blessing uh see you to the next one have a great day ciao